ce qui est également un problème que nous avons fait et pas de commissaire. Et gauche droite, je vais la découvrir que nous avons vraiment lenté pour venir que nous avons fait ce qu'il y a de l'IS. Nous avons lenté et pour que ça ne la paye dans notre nom. So it's not something we're doing to each and every one of us to look within ourselves. Maybe we found ourselves in a misunderstanding or a problem with anyone. And if they're here with us today, please take this time that we're given to you in order to take each other's side and to reconcile and ask for forgiveness. So that God may listen to our prayer this morning.
fait qu'ils comprisent les Écritures. Et il leur dit, ainsi il est écrit, que le Christ souffrirait et qu'il ressusciterait de mort le troisième jour, et que la répentance et le pardon des péchés seraient prêchés en son nom en toutes les nations, à commençant par Jérusalem. Amen. Family, our today's preaching will be based upon the book of Luke, Luke chapter 24. We start from verse 45 all the way to 47. In Jesus Christ's name, we are going to read. Then he opened their mind so they could understand the scriptures. He told them, this is what is written, the Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead, from the dead of the third day. And repentance for the forgiveness of sin will be preached in his name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. Amen. Nazareth. Alors, il leur ouvrit l'esprit en fait qu'ils comprisent les Écritures. Et il leur dit, ainsi il est écrit, que le Christ souffrirait et qu'il ressusciterait de mort le troisième jour, et que la répentance et le pardon des péchés serait prêché en son nom en toutes les nations, à commençant par Jérusalem. Amen. Amen du Bouddha à Christ. Amen du Bouddha à Afrique du Sud. Et là, il s'est mouru même. C'est la plus grande joie de la vie en Afrique du Sud. Pour une fois, voir tous et tous ici. C'est ça le destin. C'est le destin. Destin et des lourds mouvements ont été mis à la preuve. Parce que ce qui nous a dit qu'on prenne soi à destin, c'est là qu'il y a des lourds. Mais si on comprend le destin, si on ne comprend pas ce que le destin est, on peut dans la chaîne de l'homme. You might enter in someone else's path or road. Et puis, a and that person will not even give you that access. Because you are now or have rejoined in their own path or road. Amen. Amen. Destiny could be something as fortunate. Le créateur, By the Creator, il a He did it all. Les séquences de vie. The second line. Pour tout et chacun. So everyone. Et c'est un yoga pour se découvrir et comprendre. Parce que si tu ne te découvres pas. If you cannot discover yourself. Et non que si tu te découvres. And someone else is able to explode or discover you. It explodes. The world explodes you. Amen. Ne pas se mouler tout le monde en Afrique. And this is, I think, the biggest pay that Africa carries right now. Nous sommes payés. We are paying. Ok, mais partout dans le monde. Wherever you might go around the world. Nous tout le monde a dans la souffrance. A black person or a black color is always placed in suffering. Partout dans le monde. Everywhere in the world. Aucune race est dans la souffrance pour les grandes races noires. There is no suffering that can go beyond the black or brown race. Pourquoi parce que ils Why? nous ont volé notre avenir, mais pas notre destin. Because they stole our future, but not our destiny. Amen. Parce que information nyonso yande teto pe yamuma e pati na mukoboli. And every single information that you eat from the tree, it is dwelling in the root of the tree. So we compare the mangoes to bring the tree amanga. If you have understood, for example, a mango tree, you have to first start with the seed 
of the mango, analyzer amo, analyze the seed, étudier amo, study the seed, kama bere a bien, seek for a good kernel of soil, so that tomorrow, après au moment là, il était comme ça la nuit. You will shout or you will see the mango tree grow. Ça dit, information yo sur la nuit était et pas nina. Every single detail of or the outcome of the tree will dwell on the seed. Amen. Ça dit rédemption, il y a plus aux Africains et pas dans l'Afrique. Meaning that the only way out of us, Africa, is only dwelling or based in Africa. Les tinomoni religion et y a qui. That is how we've got religion introduced to us. Parce que religion est un pensée humaine. Religion is a human thought. You may mindset. Et vous dites très loin dans la dimension. It comes from a very, very different or high dimension. À partir de des murs, je sais pas si ma ma ange péchu. Meaning that the highest of the archangels. Pour battre les mêmes créateurs. The one that were against the archangels that were against the creator. Amen. Des groupes n'a pas moi n'a pas des bons satans. Ça fait des opposants. Ils sont opposés à les créateurs. Nous 
Saiye, mes ancêtres, les bateaux Kala. People of the ancient times, they hate the Torah. Bakatani They hate the Torah. Baboya ki religion. They refuse religion. Baboya ki ona nivonyo. They refuse religion. Mais ils ne, mais ils ont imposé cette religion. They refuse it in every dimension, and they oppose. Ils ont tant souffert. They did not want religion. Nan ko ba ziba misusi ba kene ba ngo très loin. And because of that, they even took some others and took them to slavery for refusing religion. Comme des animaux. Like they were treated like animals. Amen. We were treated like animals. Yamoni place au fond ni ko zara vraiment mingi ne sengwa ko tala ba situation zo rigate. Listen, that's why you see what we are doing now. Don't always be a happy champion. Yamoni. Considering the situation that you're going. Yamoni zomona di lo banandami. In the word of God. Parce que c'est de mieux j'ai là. Because it is here. When they receive the sixth superior dimension level, in their mindset, they thought no one would have access beyond that. No one. Amen. Amen. But it's shocking. They are surprised on how you found this journey. Amen. How come one? Parce que 
spirituellement, à Yébike, nous sommes plus dominés. Mentalement, à Yébike, nous sommes plus soumis. Mais raisonner, peut réfléchir le fait, depuis le Bananda, mais il y a une créativité, une création à part où il y a une autre Amen. Ils ont découvert notre terre. C'est pourquoi ils ont découvert notre terre. 
des ombres paraîtraient. Apparition, c'est quelque chose qui est spirituel. La Bible, des anges apparaissent. Parce que ça les apporte la Bible. Oh, comment vous regardez-vous en haut mais c'est le Christ. Car un nénga mati, c'est le même nénga pour faire la nuit. Pour comprendre le plat qu'on a traité, pour comprendre la nuit pour fonder. Amen. Pour comprendre très bien. Pour la nuit pour très bien. Les apôtres, par exemple, on a le Christ à vous faire la nuit. Do you understand? 
Amen. 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 Mais de même les locaux en Gessaline. Pour pas avoir la destinée, pas pour qu'on comprenne la destination Amen. Il y a mon monde entier et ça le col là. Dans mon Christ, a filmé les apôtres et la lycée qu'on a eu. Est-ce que vous ne comprenez pas les listes de Wanda? C'est-à-dire le monde entier aujourd'hui. Et ça, le col là, la table pour ma écriture à l'élo. C'est-à-dire n'est Christ à ses points. Amen. A filmé les apôtres. Mais par contre, par contre, l'esprit n'a pas été fermé. Amen. C'est pourquoi l'opini. Alors, il leur ouvre l'esprit pour qu'ils puissent comprendre les écritures. Amen. C'est-à-dire monde entier peut être un robot. C'est-à-dire pas si mi Bible mais pas si mi livre était. The world is holding the Bible, parce que nous avons holding the book. Amen. Parce que nous avons une différence entre la Bible et le livre. What we say here, there is a big difference between the Bible and the book. Il y a moins un cantique qui nous vaut alors ni. Tu es digne de prendre le livre. We say that you are worthy. Et d'ouvrir les choses. Est-ce qu'à l'objet que vous êtes digne ou bien nous sommes dignes Tu es digne de prendre. Tu es digne de prendre le livre et d'en ouvrir le seau. Il y a un peu de 49, il y a un peu de 49, il y a un peu de 49, il y a un peu de You see the song. It's written there. That person was prepared. For, he was fixed. For Akuma and Libre so Vivant. So that he can become that book in front of you. Amen. Amen. Libre de la Christ. Et c'est pour qu'on prenne place au Do you understand that part? Il y a un autre monde dans Apocalypse 19. That's why as well in the book of Revelation. Oui, j'ai vu les cieux ouverts. Revelation 19. Yes, behold, I saw heaven open. Et voici paru un cheval blanc. And there was a white horse right now coming down from heaven. Et puis ce bagot d'un. I don't know can you read this. Revelation 19 verse 11 until 13. Amen, bébé de Dieu. Amen, les élites de la parole. Vous savez qu'il vient de dire, votre prédicateur se trouve dans le livre de la liste des gens. Celui qui le monté s'appelle fidèle et véritable. Et il juge ses combats en fait de justice. Ses yeux étaient comme une flamme de feu. Si sa tête était plus yeux de terre, il avait un nom écrit que personne ne connaît, si ce n'est lui-même. Et il était revêtu d'un bâtiment d'un dessin, son nom est la parole de Dieu. Amen. Vous verrez chez Nancy, lui, lui, formulé, lui, 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 il est né en Jésus Christ sur Nazareth. Amen. I saw a bed standing open, and there before me was a white horse, whose rider is called faithful and true, with justice, with judges, and which is rule. His eyes are like blazing fire, and on his face are many clouds. He has a name written on him that no one knows but him himself. He is dressed in a rock with blood, and his name is the Word of God. Amen. 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 C'est ça notre temps. Il ouvre l'esprit. En fait, il compris cette écriture. So that you'll be able, they will be able to understand the scriptures. Puis j'ai vu le ciel ouvert, c'est-à-dire que le ciel ouvert, le monde 
Ça veut dire, et qui il faut. Et nous y sommes pour lui. Let's church. C'est ça le cheval de blanc. That is the white blanc. Horse white or white horse white. Ça veut dire, et qui est un cheval de blanc. This church is a white horse. Et il est pour toi. Et il est. Et il faut chercher, et il faut chasser l'ignorance dans l'esprit. Et quel est tout? Amen. 
Jamais cheval à Romain Mayo. A salé le moussala, sali, 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 sali. Après, il y a un cheval à Romain Mayo. Il y a un Amen. Amen. Cheval à sali, moussala, sali, 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 sali. Est-ce que cheval, à quoi est-ce que ça colonne à Yabike Maintenant, tout en amour. Amen. It's called, it's called the white house. If somebody buys a property, the title deeds of the property, or the name in the title deeds, will the title deed be in the wall of your house, or will it be in the book? A title deed. It's a reflection. Amen. Et 
and if we have to consider if we have to consider you know um, the preaching exhortation the testimonies questions it will take a lot of time because we are aware that many of you have come from far so with that being said, it's required for us to finish at a normal time. And we saw it as if it was a little bit of a little bit And it's not like if we conclude the service much shorter, everyone will just need to go home. There are others that haven't met, you know, their uh, friends and so forth in a long time. There will be photos taken, conversations. It will take even another two to three hours, one or even three hours. Positive, uh, at a good time. We both heard the preaching. I hope we understand. We understand. Amen. We understand this preaching. One thing we need to take from it, something that is very important, is that this church. Oh, Jesus Christ a formé le nom de Mussoudé. All those that Christ Jesus or God have not opened their eyes as yet, they will open them and they will believe. They will understand what is shown to the world right now. And if they do not understand now, they will have a tough time understanding. Therefore, they won't understand it at all. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came out from the water. He's walking on the water. A servant of his witnesses it. You know, one of his servants witnessed him doing this walking on water. And from first glance, he had called Christ a ghost. And from that, from that altercation, Christ understood and said that this person's eyes are not yet open. Therefore, he had opened his eyes. And from opening his eyes, the, the servant then uh, understood that no, it wasn't a ghost that I saw. I see clearly now it's the master. But brief. And in brief. But in the minions, the religion. But sadly, all minions, but in the Bible. But religion, but in the minions, the religion. But the minions, the place where you go, some of Oh, but in the minions, the religion, the religion, the religion. But in the minions, the religion, the religion, the religion, the religion, the religion, the all believers in this uh, world, all the churches, all those that have not yet understood this word of God, see this word of God at first glance. And we take from that example, when the, the servant saw his first glance, he thought he saw a ghost. Therefore, they out there looking at this word of God thinking, that, you know, it has ghost-like tendencies. They're still in their first glance of this word of God. They see this church We repeat that they see this church at first glance Therefore they think that it's a ghost Just as the servant did when he saw Jesus And and after, after you know, he was awakened, he then understood that no, it wasn't a ghost, it was the master. As other people out there, they're still looking at this church in first glance. However, when he opened the spiritual eyes, as it was referred to in the preaching, people then realized the value of this word of God, and now they're looking at it at second glance. 
The awakening has now shown us uh, that the fasting that we did in the past was not the one. The watch over, the intercessions, the way of, of, of praying, all these things were not supposed to be done in that manner. And all of this is done because our spiritual eyes have been opened, we've been awakened. All those that feel as though they are, their eyes are open, however, at any inconvenience, they go back to the churches where they came from. I can tell you now that those individuals' eyes have not been opened yet. All those that that look but they cannot see sadness to them. All those that are judging this church, all those that are judging this church based on physical attributes with their naked eye or through religion. Because religion is true that the religion that was speaking, spoken to us by the preacher was brought to us in order to sort of blinden us. But Pastor, by the Holy Bible, Bible, na religion, bazaar, kada na connection, so batani sa ba mo na sa religion. You see out there, they are in, they uh, know the Bible based on religion, based on what information that they were given from these people that came in the beginning with this system. Ya mo ni lo ba tayo na religion. Last uh, Holy Communion that they had, that they said, you did the same thing was plus 200,000 USD. Now, someone with a calculator, he's telling me 200,000. Yeah, I believe it's about close to, I don't know, um, 30, 30 mil. Now, family, one thing I can tell you, the person that was with us a few minutes ago, he has already sort of uh, given a layout or a plan of what uh, is going to come. And with that being said, the idea that it, that it has been fed to the man of God, the expectation that's coming with it is very, very high. Therefore, we really, really need to organize ourselves properly. Family, and it's not an organization of 100,000 rand. I believe it's 100,000 rand. I'm going to ask you this question now. Based on estimation, if we are you know, very real with each other, how much do you think something like this can cost? Hey, <laughs> okay, let's let's not let's not be unrealistic. Let's be very realistic. One million rand is a bit too much. However, it is requiring a lot of funds. Because it's and as you can see, there are servants of God that are here, but this is only the beginning of their service. I believe even in terms of accommodation it's so hectic we'll have to have a little hole no. to accommodate others for sleeping baby. We did it for. However, we will put no. a strong no. no, 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 but through our unity in faith, we will then be able to show the love. If maybe, for example, a believer is touched, they could be able to accommodate maybe two or three people at their home in order to make things easier in terms of accommodation for their fellow believers. Amen. So I believe we really don't have a lot to share with you. The service that we just executed it has given a, an answer to a lot of questions. But the real answer will only be shown to all those that are awakened. Those that are still sleeping, however, physically their eyes are open, they won't really understand or know what's happening. And in brief, 
temps de lutter. C'est le temps d'avoir l'amour. It's time to have love. Moko. Unity. Ligalisi Moko. One mind, one mindset. Moko. Et pas de l'amour. You know, walking alongside each other. Église. The church. Mille d'apôtre Bazalaki. The same man in which the apostles were. Mille d'apôtre. They ate in one place. Unité de la foi. Unity in faith. And the same manner in which the meeting of the servants of God was conducted yesterday, beaucoup de choses ont changé. A lot of things have been changed. Amen. Amen. We won't take too much time to let you know on literally every detail. However, we'll take that responsibility on the different servants of God to share. What we done? Apostle Bazalaki, Apostle Okunazui, Apostle Okunazui, Munimo Okunazui. But when you knew so many things, you see, come on. What happened? Like in a fight. What happened in the war? Because of the unity, the past, the 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 divine strength, the force of power that they they had, they 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 scattered about, tried tried to collect whatever they could, and they brought back. That torments a lot of uh, uh, believers of the Word of God in South Africa. Please, on South Africa, are you not tormented by that spirit? Tamuz not torment you. Tamuz that they were explaining <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you that that spirit is making our fathers and mothers suffer. They do not want to be They do not want the believers in this country to commit to their tithe, their offerings, even acts of love. It's very difficult. Amen. Amen. But us, servants of God, we had an idea. Not I had an idea, we had an idea. So in the servants of God in yesterday's meeting, look at the secret that we uh, noticed. Amen. Amen. It is required for us, it is required for us to conquer is that a God of the moves in this country? Keep down the country, Kuna. Kaboli. Di ba the country, Kuna? No friend, Kaboli. Kaboli. Eh, nani Kuna? Men na moko bandero. Je vous dis, tous a plus de plus plus de quinze ou seize ou vingt serviteurs parce que la société a dit que l'Église passe souffrance et l'équipe parce que voyez l'Église dans tel amendement ya qui m'a regardé. En fait, non, on est très mieux. Moi passé, passé il passe combien? Quand ça combien? Hein? 320 par mois. Les gens ne peuvent pas faire ça. Salaire 320 par Okay. Um, so one thing that we've understood is that there are many servants of God that quit their spiritual job because of the suffering that they go through in this country. And we noticed that at one point these servants of God used to receive 320 rands a month. That 320 rand a month in order to supply. Sometimes, sometimes, it's not nothing. Sometimes, so it's sometimes it's 250. Sometimes it's 50 rand. Like it, 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 it's it's a month. These are things, I'm telling you the truth. Things are, these are the things that are driving the servants of God. If obviously they don't get the circumstances, they'll continue doing their work. But others, it's, it's too much for them. And because it's too much, they have to sort of step aside. So that being said, it's something that has been very difficult and it has tormented a lot of people. All of this because, you know, of this spirit that is tormenting believers to not commit in order to help make the lives of the servants much easier. No, but it was an enemy day. The money that you spend on, 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 on data and airtime alone is what 
this, these individuals are trying to survive on for the whole month sometimes. And I'm telling you, they're getting ready for the month of Muslim. And family, I tell you now that if if it was a thing of only chasing money and surviving, we can't make it. These individuals may not be selected in very low. And I urge you, because you see these individuals here in front of you, still here doing their job for you. I'm not telling you to be acknowledgeable of them, but be acknowledgeable of this word of God. Why? Why are they accepting these individuals? Why? The reason why the reason why they are sort of accepting um, the situation that is at hand with them is because they understand how much torment Tamuz has over certain believers. You'll find a believer receives their salary and they only say, you know what, I'm just going to get 20 rand for my tithe and maybe 10 rand for my offering. And these are these are literally the things that the realities that are happening and they are just understanding of that situation. They just know how much torment Tamuz is having over believers in this country. Is it a lie? So the small team that is left behind, we said and we said no. Because they are family, they are servants of God that are that are quitting. They are quitting. They say they can't bear it anymore. And you can't really condemn them because the situation that they're in is difficult. Amen. Amen. We went back to the scriptures as the time of the apostles. So the idea that we had basically is through God's grace so through God's grace, a certain portion, that little portion of believers in Cape Town, Durban, um, Johannesburg, that still commit to their um, type and offering obligations, we as a servant of God drew inspiration from the stories of the apostles. We said that moving forward, what we're going to do is we're going to accumulate all the money that is taken, you know, that is accumulated from all the churches, bring it to one account, and then we're going to split it evenly amongst all the servants of God. So, an example of this: if one servant of God gets 100 grand, all servants of God get 100. If one servant of God gets 500 grand, all servants of God get 500 grand. And that we saw in the story of the apostles that when everything was evenly shared, the divine power within that group of apostles was something that was very, very powerful. Amen. Amen. And that is what was in the Bible. That is what they were doing. And that was you know, the unity of faith. In faith. Family, family, you know, if you look closely at that story, if you look closely at that story, any individual that will try and disturb that unity in faith within either the apostles, let it be you in uh, the group or as a believer, you will see that God used to punish those that were trying to go against and trying to disturb them. One thing I notice here is you believers not living the life that you're supposed to live and you're living that way because of to 
Amen. 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 Parce que si ma volonté qui passe n'est pas la tata, nous serons contre tout le monde. Non, tout le monde est là. Non, c'est la loi de nous, mais c'est la loi de nous. Et quand nous nous passons, nous sommes là. 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 About this unity in faith and how it had to be upheld because they knew that the power within that unity is solely through equality. So everything that all of them um, put in together, not the little amount that's maybe put on the side in case of emergency, no. Everything was put into the circle and evenly shared. Because of that, the power increased. And I tell you now, I can assure you this for a fact that any servant of God that does not obey this, they will be hit. And also, it goes to the believers as well. It is now, it is now the time it is required that this country should be filled with divine power of God. The type of power you, you, are, you, you, ask, you ask your father God for something and he listens and he gives it to you as his child. So with that being said, a vote was done. And again, I would say because of the torment of the Lord in the hearts, you know, He makes it very heavy in the hearts of believers to 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 help out. Rambert premier, celui de 2015. Celui de Tel Aviv, tu m'as remis le mille. Je suis combien de personnes à Pesca, là? So, on a dit que nous avons des limites. So, quand tu fais des événements, on est en masse de courant là. Quand nous essayons de vous enlighten, nous essayons de vous montrer combien de torments Tamuz a sur votre cœur. We, earlier this year, we had set an amount of 1,000 rand each believer uh, that we had to contribute for the radical of the man of God, which was supposed to be done, I believe, this month, this week, today. However, listen to these numbers. We went back, had our meeting with the servants of God in order to try and see, in terms of our progress, how much we have contributed so far. There was like 9,000 in, in, in the headquarter, 13,000 in um, Yovo, 2000 and something, 2000 something in, in, in Randburg. So, so just think of it. Think of it this way. So think of it this way. In this province alone, it's 27,000 rand. Meaning, of all the amounts of people that we see in our eyes today, only 27 people fulfill, you know, get promise. The, the Western Cape is 16,000. It's 8. 8,000. Pretoria, 17,000. Pretoria. Pumalanga. Pumalanga, how many? It's zero with the ears. I haven't started it yet. What is this one? Let me know. 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 We are not entering your February. Now, now in December we all know that the last Sunday of December is our Thanksgiving. And this is the Thanksgiving that is done 
So to add that, 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 that thanksgiving and the welcoming of the man of God's contribution, what type of prayer do you want us to do so that we can actually make things happen? Is a prayer day. Is a voluntary decision. I believe it's no prayer. No prayer that will help it. However, it is the will. It is also, um, um, you know, the decision in order to fulfill this um, thing that you have placed upon yourself. Amen. That's why it's so to God that you see here they need to be, you know, merited with high respect. Family. Family, I urge you, that means that I urge you right now, any believer that has any misunderstanding or a problem with any servant of God, this is the time in order to reconcile and to make amends. Yeah. We want peace. So, so the decision that was made so um, a lot has been shared. You can see the passion in the leaders' um, words. Basically, the servants of God, what they had uh, done, the decision they had made was. We live together, we die together. And with that being said, they have decided to sacrifice themselves, to look aside from, you know, their physical life in order to continue doing the work that was assigned to them by God. But one thing that I can share with you, family, is they are doing their part in sacrificing. You as believers, if you don't do your part in terms of sacrificing yourself in order to make their lives much easier, I tell you now that your lives will be painful. You think you are maybe living a particular way now? If you do not fulfill this family, I tell you it's not looking good. And you know, we're saying all of this because we can see how much heavy your hearts are. We're looking at now where, where we are. March is, I believe, uh, you guys are saying four months away. I don't even count January, February, I don't even count December because it's just tears. From December, it's just tears then on because there's just so much expenses, even in your physical lives. So I see it as though we have two months left in order to try and, you know, um, contribute a substantial amount in order for us to welcome the man of God in the way in which that we have to. But with that being said, it's required for you to make the decision and have the will in order to fulfill that decision that you've made. Amen. Amen. It went further. We don't want the love of God to only really dwell within the servants, however, it should be also within the believers as well. The days are coming, a few days, Family, one thing I can tell you is the day is going to where servants of God are going to come to you. Maybe a servant of God from Yeovil is going to come to you and tell you, you know what? You from headquarters come to Yeovil. Here's the keys to the box. I want you to see and count exactly how much as you, our masters, are you know, providing for us. Someone from Jefferson is probably going to go to Randburg. Randburg is going to go to um, Le Tabile, just so that you can observe your contribution in order to try and help you know, the living of the servants of God. We want you to be witness to it. Amen. Amen. So just to conclude and end, 
decision that uh, was made by the servant of God through observation of course the servants of God in South Africa are in search of um, volunteers. But all you, all those, their hearts, will accept that each month end they will pay a, a fee to a servant of God of a hundred rand. Amen. Amen. We have now reached that, that level. What does it mean? I don't know if I can so, what we mean by it is a what we mean by it is a certain believer will, will sit down, they will acknowledge the believer will acknowledge that um, the believer will acknowledge that they you know they fulfill their tithe as well as their offerings, they pay for the rental of the church. Now they have taken the ownership or the responsibility to pay a servant of God a hundred grand every month. Not asking for a thousand, not two hundred, not five hundred, one hundred grand. Amen. We are very serious. Please, we're saying this and we're asking for you to put it deep in your heart. What does it mean? We're not forcing anyone. All those that are going to accept with a whole heart, a full heart. But so so family, I, we, you know, we took these decisions because your, your servants of God are suffering. So basically what we're going to be doing moving forward is we as believers, we are going to see the number of servants of God in the country. Where, where, where let it be, you know, in the Western Cape, Kaudeng, wherever the case may be. For example, if there are a hundred people, we know that every month, you know, X amount will be given to the servants of God that will, for one, it will avoid them from thinking of quitting their spiritual job in order to look for an actual physical job. And number two, it will also avoid us, or rather, it will avoid this power, or this, you know, load that Tammuz already has over our hearts. Amen. 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 We do anything wrong. We're doing this while we have the reason. Has a reason. If the servants are crying, it's because of pain, and the pain is going to be on you. That's how we ask. To all mothers with goodness. All those that see the well of our Father of God.
Papa Boss. Kumbu gitu kan? Amen. Papa Boss, ayo kita lebih nyanyi untuk Papa Boss. Donc, nous avons vraiment des cérémonies. Oyo, ils ont gardé Johannesburg. Cape Town, ils ont. Pretoria, ils ont. Birma, ils ont. Pumalang, ils ont. Letabi, ils ont. Chachamouvo. 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 Bochestoum, ils ont. Begui, ils ont. Begui, ils ont. Papa Boss, just a quick introduction. What you see here, this is just a little bit of a portion of Johannesburg. The Church Word of God, Cape Town, is existing. You've got Durban that is existing. Pontchartrain that is existing. In fact, I can name you all the nine provinces, and the churches are all over, including the northwest, as far as Shoshone uh, and and you can go towards Pretoria, out of Durban region as well. Amen. Semaine passée, quand le Togo m'a dimanche, ma soeur est l'homme de Dieu. Just last week, before we reached Sunday, he spoke to the men of God. En fait, la Bible n'a yé. And the prophet told him, Ben Kakuna n'a pris depuis quand nous n'avons pas eu. Donc l'homme de Dieu a tenu tout travail together parce que pour y en aller à Mars, ils ont confié. Alors il a demandé par où passe le lancé des jeunes organisations. Bokeh bat bok 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 kamu ada jual nasi omoni, mana orang beli nanti? So omoni pepan yang yang kurang mula tapi mau sedukan. Omoni tapi pasti akan minat nak buat nasi sedukan orang zaman kita. Yang omoni itu mana zaman itu zaman festival. Tapi orang zaman organisasi mana ni salema? So this will be an organisation out of the exception, meaning that. It's something that has never happened in the history of the church word of God within the Republic of South Africa. Why do we say this? Uh, just last week, Papa God spoke to the, the men of God, uh, including our national leader. They were together. And they were advised that things need to be done rapidly, as quickly as possible. This progress has to be ongoing for the month of March. Don't be shocked that this festival, this event, well, I can call it a festival that we're going to have in March, you will find leaders from, sitting leaders from the government, you are going to find, or whether you call them mayors, superstars coming from Africa Global, whether it's the Congo, or even musicians from SA, you will see different type of celebrities coming this month of March so that they can join you in the ceremony or festival that is yet to come. Amen. Atomique na atomine ne.
Yeah.